ideally we won't call it a trial, we'll call it a natural history study because we're not really testing any therapeutic agent there. But uh, I think that's the most important. We, what we want to do is identify therapeutic targets. Okay. Like, uh, if you understand the pathophysiology, then you know exactly how to target and where to target and the molecules in order to test these patients. So our idea is, so we have two ongoing studies. One is to bring in any patient with any neurological manifestation, bring them in, try to study them, try to figure out what's going on with these patients. The second is to bring in patients who overlap with what we call as chronic fatigue syndrome. Because this chronic fatigue syndrome is another enigma in neurology. Um, and it usually starts with some kind of infectious process, and then people complain of long-term symptoms for years, and uh, nobody knows what's wrong with them, nobody knows how to treat them. Okay, And they go from doctor to doctor. <laughs> um, and so their symptoms uh, are, in many ways, are quite similar to some of these long haul patients. Okay. Not all of them, but a subset of them. So we want to bring in that subset of individuals, bring them over here. We've been studying these chronic fatigue syndrome patients for some time. So we want to do the exact same testing that we're doing on them, do it on these patients here with the long haul patients. See if they are, how much of a biological overlap there is between the two, because uh, by studying the long haul patients here, we know what triggered their symptom, right? Then we know what virus triggered it and we're catching them early on in their, their illness, right? The chronic fatigue syndrome patients, oftentimes they have an infectious agent, but we don't know what infection they actually got. The bug usually remains unidentified. And oftentimes we're catching them much, much later in the illness becomes very hard to know uh, uh, what the issues really are. So that we think will allow us to identify uh, a lot of the potential therapeutic targets that will benefit both populations.